Let's discuss the air conditioning dilemma immediately. We use air conditioners to keep our houses cool, yet this really makes the world outside hotter. The chemical and electricity that air conditioners use to help decrease the temperature of your room depletes the ozone layer. The demand for air conditioners is rising along with the temperatures and earnings. Notably in populous nations like the Philippines, China, Indonesia, and India. And the impact on climate change is anticipated to be significant. Before the end of this decade, the globe will likely add 1 billion AC, according to one estimate. Before 2040, the AC market is anticipated to at least quadruple. That's fantastic news for economic productivity and public health indicators. Without a doubt, it harms the environment. According to a Bloomberg research, economists observe an increase in sales when yearly family earnings are close to $10,000. The Philippines and Indonesia were among the countries to cross the $10,000 mark recently. More than 80% of the population in India now lacks access to air conditioning. Too soon extending air conditioner coverage runs the risk of escalating the problem. It is in response to the fact that many units utilize a refrigerant that is much more harmful than carbon dioxide. The nations with the fastest growing demand continue to rely heavily on coal-fired power. And the majority of people can only afford the most affordable, energy-inefficient units.